Hi everyone, this is Estelle Tracy from 37 Chocolates and today I'm going to walk you through my chocolate review process. Um, I received this box of uh, chocolates, plural, because we are referring to small chocolate bites like confections instead of chocolate singular, which is which refers to a chocolate bar. And uh, the, the box was sent to me by Roya Java Urshi, who is the founder of Day Too Late. Um, and uh, what's special about this product, it's, it's that it is made without, um, without uh, sugar in the filling. The filling is always is made of um, dates. And I wanted to walk you through um, the, um, you know, the unboxing and show you what are some of the details I personally um, look at as I review chocolates. Um, as a chocolate sommelier, um, there we go, let's do it. So first thing first, the box to me, super Middle Eastern. My family's from Turkey before being from France, before that they were from, um, and to me, it just is like so Middle Eastern. Um, and like, you know, all these little jewels like that, the nice little brown ribbon. And if you pay attention, there's a little palm, tr palm tree here. Now. Uh, the first thing I noticed here um, is it says chocolate with dates, healthier, more satisfying. So I always want uh, any company to stay away from the term healthier. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, num the main reason is how do you quantify something is healthier, especially when we don't really know which lens we're looking at, right? So it could be um, you know, is, are we looking at nutrition? Are we looking at, you know, glucose spike in your blood? Are we looking at, I don't know, like does this cause a dopamine rush? I don't know. Or so I'd say stay away from the term healthier. It's opening the door to so many, uh, potential problems, you know, FDA and things like that. Um, I, I would, yes, I would say, you know, I would re, I would perhaps be more specific, say more nutritious. And that's, yes, more nutritious compared to a chocolate made with only refined sugar. I think that's fair. So first thing first. Now I open the box and there we go. So just as a warning, I have eaten a bunch of these <laughs> before. And oh, I don't have a ton left, but here we have, all right, we have this four left. And um, I see they're very simple uh, chocolate bonbons. We have different shapes. Um, the square one, we have um, like a dome, a flower, and one that's just a wave. Now, when I pick them up, I want you to see on the back, there are some, um, some little designs. And to me, you know, I'm a fan of less is more. And what I would personally recommend if somebody asked me like, you know, as part of like test, really wanted to have my opinion on accent, you know, on product development. I'd say what you need to focus on is on the what factor when you open the box because you're gonna you're gonna see the um you know the outside of like the shell and all that, right? And the back to me is just makes it too busy. And the other thing is like, if we stay in the theme of healthier or health, my first question is that I know this, are, this is cocoa butter design um, that is applied to the chocolate back with a transfer sheet. And I would say, okay, where is the, you know, what are, what kind of dyes, like natural, are they, are they natural dyes on the cocoa butter or are they artificial? And I think you, I mean, you know, Given that this is marketed with health in mind, I would stay away of anything that is like artificial coloring or things that don't, you know, don't feel necessary for the taste experience. That's my personal opinion. So um, I'm going to take the square and always smell your chocolate. What you can see inside. And that's really what was my biggest surprise when I ate this. They expected date chunks. That is not what you're getting. You're getting a, a, a date paste. You can really taste the date, but it doesn't feel too strong. 
and you have little bits of nuts. If you look on the back, there are actually some of the nuts you have here are walnuts, pistachios, cashews, and, and dry coconut. And I, I'm, I, lo I really love how elegant the square feels like this when you eat that. Um, it reminds me a little bit of like, for those of you who know after eight thin mint, it's like, it's not a thin mint, it's like a thicker date chocolate. Um, and it, it just is such a pleasant chocolate to eat because as I said, it's not fibery. You don't, you're not like chewing a date. It's a paste and uh, I think this is brilliant. So that was for the square. And you know, if I ate two, for full disclosure, I ate two before. Um, if you eat the dome like that, you get a very different experience because you just have such a concentration of um, the date paste inside the dome. And I love how the shape of each chocolate has an impact and influence on our experience, on the tasting experience. So now being a chocolate, craft chocolate industry and, you know, hosting chocolate tasting, um, I looked at the ingredients list and this, this is what they are. Mitch dual dates, chocolate, and then you have parentheses, unsweetened chocolate, sugar, cocoa butter, solicitin, natural vanilla flavor, cashews, pistachios, walnuts, and dry coconut. So the list of ingredients is actually quite straightforward. What I would, however, say, um, the, the box says chocolate sweetened with dates. We have sugar listed in the ingredients. So I would either change um, that tagline, say, you know, chocolate with a date filling, something like that, because this leads us to believe that there is zero sugar in this product, but that's not the case. The second thing is that I would, um, you know, being in the chocolate industry, I would want to know, I do want to know, where does the chocolate come from? Who provided the couverture? What's the origin of the cacao? Um, these are things that I think more and more customers are gonna question. Um, I see, I see more and more people, especially during COVID, um, asking and questioning where things were from a lot more. And I think it would help bring, it would help build a lot of trust to be so transparent about the origin of the chocolate. And, you know, even the dates for that matter, which, you know, are they domestic dates or, you know, are they coming from a different country? I think it would from my point of view, it would bring the, the brand to the next level because all of a sudden you're like, okay, you're sending a signal that, okay, this is a product for people that not only care about, you know, whole nutrition, but also care about where their food is coming from and they want to eat products that are made more, you know, um, transparently, ethically, um, you know, these are, these are things I think are increasingly important. So all in all, um, this is a really fun product. This is something I could really see keep on my, you know, on my desk during a really hard project. Um, you know, a little chocolate at three o'clock with your second coffee. That would be absolutely lovely. There is something that feels special um, about this product. And at the same time feels... Um, approachable so it's this really nice casual nice type of uh product and um yeah and it's still nice you know that you gift it and yeah you don't need to wrap it or anything like the whole box is like a gift in itself so there you go all right so i hope this was helpful uh for you all and if you want to check out you know in case i, I also I, yeah i wasn't clear i forget if i said that but they told it sent me this box for free in exchange of a review so, all right, daytoilet.com. And, um, you know, if you are a brand yourself looking um, to pitch your product to influencers or get a review, um, I'm going to link to a LinkedIn article I wrote a while back on how to approach an influencer so that you can get what you want. So thank you a lot for watching. This was Estelle from 37 Chocolates, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.